Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing some 2025 August SAT predictions. And we're going to be starting off with the math section here. This first problem type is going to be solving solutions, but they are a bit tricky to what we're used to seeing on the SAT. So this example says one solution to the given equation can be rewritten as 1 plus square root k, where k is a constant. What is the value of k? So when you see a quadratic expression and you want to solve for the solutions, the first thing you think about is can you factor it? Maybe you use quadratic formula or just plug it into Desmos. Uh, in this particular case, because it can be rewritten as 1 plus square root k, and we're actually trying to find the k value, we can't quite do any of those methods. But what we can do is solve for x, but we can't solve for x right now when it's in this quadratic form. What we want to do is put it into a form where we can actually straight up solve for x. So what I'm going to do here is actually complete the square. So if we have x squared minus 2x minus 9 equals 0, let's just rewrite this as x squared minus 2x, and then we'll bring the uh, minus 9 to the other side. So equals 9. And then we can complete the square on this side. So we can have x squared minus 2x. Our b value is uh, negative 2. So half of our b value squared would be positive 1. And that should be equal to 9. And because we added a positive one to the left side we have to add it to the right side and this right here just becomes x minus one squared equals 10. so now this is really simple to solve because now we just have to isolate and solve for x so if we take the square root of both sides we get square root 10 oops square root 10 that will be equivalent to x minus one if we add one on both sides we end up getting one plus square root 10 equals x and we can see that one of the solutions can be rewritten as 1 plus screw k. So in our case, we have the plus 1, and then we have the screw 10. So the value of k must be 10, and so that must be our answer. All right, let's move on to our other math prediction for the SAT this month. This one has to do with geometry, and it's isosceles triangles dealing with perimeter, and then extrapolating that to finding other features of the shape. So this problem says... A isosceles right triangle has a perimeter of 94 plus 94 times screw 2 inches. What is the length in inches of one leg of this triangle? So let's draw a triangle out here. And this is isosceles triangle. So if we call this L for length, these two must be equal. And then we'll just call this last part X or something. All right. So we're trying to find the actual length. So the value of one of the legs trying to find L uh, based off given perimeter. So what we can do here is set up an equation, right? So L plus L plus X must be equal to 94 plus plus 94 times square root 2. Okay, cool. So we have this expression set up. What would make this super easier to solve is you can see that this is expressed in L's or length. And the only thing not expre expressed in length is our current hypotenuse value we've called x. If we do get this hypotenuse value expressed in x, then we have a like term. And so then we can just isolate and solve for that term, right? And that would ultimately give us the length of one of those uh, legs because we define legs as just uh, length or L. So how do we do that? Well, we would have to use the Pythagorean theorem. So we know that in a right triangle, because this is isosceles right triangle, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So in this case, length squared plus length squared, oops, length squared must be equal to x squared. And so this here is just 2l squared. It'll let me write. 2l squared equals x squared. And then we just isolate and solve for x. So we take the square root of both sides. We're left with the square root of 2, and then the square root of L squared is just L, and so that is equal to X. And so that is our final portion. So we can rewrite this part up here. Instead of X, we can just replace it with this form, square root 2 times the length, right like this. And then what we can do is to avoid a bunch of algebra is to just call our length a random variable, let's just say x, so now it's all like terms, and then solve for the value of x or length. So you can see down here, this is what I've done in Desmos, I've just put in what we had over here, and then found the solution, which is 66.46804, 
And looking at our answer choices, we can see it lines up with 47 times square root 2. 47 times square root 2 down here is also 66.468037. That rounds to uh, 4 there. And therefore, B must be our correct answer for that question. So that does it for all of our SAT predictions. Make sure you subscribe for good luck and plus 100 points on your SAT. Thank you all for watching.